you know, I have Michelle in my arms, and then you got Gina coming out. And it, it, it was like one bombshell after another. That's when I broadcasted. You know, two out of 23, we found them. We found them. New video shows the raw emotions of the officers who were first on the scene and found Amanda, Gina, and Michelle. Paul Kiska is live on 5 on Seymour Avenue. And Paul, this video is hard to watch without getting emotional. You know, not only that, it is a very rare look inside a police interview room. These police officers being interviewed five days after the dramatic rescue here on Seymour Avenue, and yet their emotions still right there, so strong. We pull up, we, we, we see a, a crowd, uh, like on the porch, uh, we see this girl, she's like raising her hand, um, holding a child, I'm looking at my partner, you know, is it her? And so she came to the driver's side and he looked at me and he's like, it's her. Um, just the emotion from that point of him confirming it was Amanda. It was overwhelming. My partner immediately asked her, you know, is there anybody else inside? Uh, and she said, yes, Gina De Jesus and another girl. And it was like another bombshell just, just with overwhelming force just hitting me. Uh, as we were going up the steps, it was so quiet, like peaceful, almost as if, you know, I, I started thinking, okay, all we're going to do is clear this top floor. Nobody's going to be there. And, and just leave. And then you hear this scuffling, you know, something going on in this room. And it was Michelle, she kind of popped out into the doorway and paused there for a second. Within moments, she came charging at me. She jumped on to me. She's like, you saved us, you saved us. And I'm holding on to her so tight. When he put her down, she jumped up into my arms and held on to me and screamed, please don't let me go, please don't let me go. I said, honey, don't worry, I'm not letting you go. And then within a few seconds, I see another girl come out of the bedroom. I just look at her. I, you can immediately tell who it is, just thinner. And again, I just needed confirmation. And I asked her, what, what's your name? She said, my name is Georgina De Jesus. It's very overwhelming. I mean, it took everything to hold myself together. You know, I have Michelle in my arms, and then you got Gina coming out. And it, it, it was like one bombshell after another. That's when I broadcasted. You know, two out of 23, we found them. We found them. And he looked at me. He just, the look on his face, and he was part. We found them. <laughs> I can't even tell you how the emotions that we felt. It was just unbelievable. And everything else was just a blur. I just, <sighs> the heaviness in the heart just lifted. And then the next array of emotions of, I don't, I don't know, it was relief. And then you just don't want to think of what happened to them. So you just keep thinking positive and want to just encourage them that everything, that they're safe now and everything is okay. The description of the suspect and the vehicle, they were able to locate them at 32nd and Clark and McDonald's. It was, it was a team effort though, not just for us. We just responded there. It was. It was a, t a great team effort from everybody that was involved. The girls are the heroes in the story. They really, they fought every day, and they're the true heroes. And it's likely the first people that Gina and Michelle saw in more than a decade were those Cleveland police officers. Those interviews were conducted by the Cleveland Police Department's PIO, one of their public information officers, Jennifer Choch. Live on Seymour tonight, live on 5 in Cleveland, I'm Paul Kiska.